breaking the yoke of poverty from your family. And the reason why I want to teach you this thing is so that generational flow of poverty can end. The people's parents suffered. One, continue the suffering and the children are also receiving it. It must end. Do you understand? That's why you are here. It's a family meeting. That's why I want to teach on it. Breaking the yoke of poverty from your family. Now, you know why it is important that we talk about this? Look at Ephesians chapter 3. Show me that scripture. Then we look at that video. Ephesians chapter 3, 14 and 15. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14 and 15. Can we be on our feet in honor of God's word so that we can read together? Because I can see that generations are seated. I see fathers and mothers. I see grandma, actually grandchild. Wow. If I had that, Mrs. Uh, Onik Bide has great grandchild. If you want to read, I want to read Roketa. Abi? Mommy Onik Bide da? Any da? Oh, you can't me in this special seat. Because you are the only great grandma today. You can't great grandma and be lane. Abelu me to one. Oh, yeah. Evan Quater, what for Boshembo? Grandma, oh, look to one. great. Grandchildren, you. Ah, ah, ah. Mommy, I'll me. Yes. Oh, mommy, I'll me. To be more. Oh, my, no. To be more. Where is mommy? I'll Please clap for her. She's coming. Where are you? Come. The Lord will honor you. Emma, I'll be more grand. Mommy, I'll me. Shame, boy. Want to be more. Omo won ti bi mo omo to mo yen na tun bi tun ti bi mo e ma fo shoro nga si leyin o enikan ki gbe eyin ya o ti o ti wo yoruba fi n ba je o ya come to the front fan wa nbe ma wori today is your day after service somebody wait tenuko after service, somebody should buy them something. Uh -huh. Some of you don't know that Mom Unique Bide is a pastor's wife. The wife of a general overseer. We celebrate you. God bless you. Now, let's read together that scripture. Let's read together. Let's read together. After the count of three. One, two, and let's go. For this cause, I bow my knee Unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Verse 15 is where I'm really going. One, two, let's go. Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. How many family? All. It means that your family's name was from God. He said, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. So he knows they are for this family. He knows the Oresonia's family. He knows the Alimi's fami family. No name is a mistake. And for you to know that God knows your family, understand this. For you to understand, for God to know your family, God has provisions for your family. If he doesn't have provision for you, he doesn't need to know you. That's why he said to, to Jeremiah, he said, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew thee. So for God to know your family, your family is not a mistake. Brother Akinwale, God knows your family. Is he in church? God knows your family. Uh, that dear, what was your son name? David. God knows your family. Every family that is here, you got your family name from God. Even if it was your father or great-grandfather that gave you, he didn't do it of his own accord. You got that name from God. Now, somebody will be saying, but sir, why yeah, do we get names like Ushiyemi? Nweke? Now listen, you have access to some names so that you can determine some of your habits. There are some for few that will not become prayer warriors if you do not come out from certain families. So at times, God purposely allows it because there are battles on your path. Something needs to awaken your spirit. But your name is not a mistake. And if your name is not a mistake, your family name is not a mistake, there is a provision for you.
Now, see that. How do we now break this yoke? Look at how life flows. Now, Brother Precious, am I ready? Let me show you how the race of life flows. How wealth is supposed to be transferred and how poverty is being transferred. Please look at this. This is Jamaica won the 400 meter, a 100 meter, 4 by 4 years. There was still time for a speck of an island in the Caribbean to have the final say. And it's running. Now you see that when, once one run, he hands over the batting to another generation. Now the other one will run, get to a point, somebody else is waiting. He's supposed to, ha ha, look at this, look at this. He handed over the batting. You see that when the batting was being handed over, Jamaica was still coming towards the back. Then this is Usain Bolt, the man that will run the final race. He, he received not as first, but look at him. He is to hold that baton until he gets and he finishes it. And the entire winner is not mentioned. Oh, you said both one. No, Jamaica won the race because the baton from one person to the other person was handed over properly. Now, while some of them are still running, trying to collect the baton, somebody else could fall. If he falls, before he will stand up to pick. The others have gone. I'm coming to interpret these things to you. This was how Jamaica became the world champion. Now listen to me. Look up. Thank you for that video. God told me when I was studying and preparing for this family Sunday, God said, son, go and teach my people. Poverty is not from God. I come again. Poverty is not from God. There are about three things that causes poverty. Now the first thing that causes poverty in the life of people, is what we call it's a spiritual thing. It could be a spiritual thing. Now, this is where curses, this is where evil covenants, this is where all those things comes from. Now, but the moment you become born again, you are empowered to challenge the covenants that you notice in your father's house. That's why I look up. You have to notice something first. I've not started preaching. Now, that's why the first thing to do as a Christian, look into your family the, the moment you are born again. What exists in your own family? And when you look at what ex is existing in your family, you don't leave it the way you met it. Whatsoever you don't challenge will remain like that. That's why I say the source of poverty first is spiritual. It could be a curse. It could be a covenant. It could be, it could be, it could be, you know, but it has spiritual source. Especially if you can, if you can trace it to genealogies. My father was this. My his father was this. His great grandfather was this. And you two, you are gradually beginning to look like that person. The moment you are born again, the first thing to do is to observe the family and challenge in the name of Jesus what you don't like. I've told you a story before. Now, I heard it from Reverend Aaron Siola. He's a, he's a prayer minister. He said he was praying for a young man. This man was a chartered accountant, qualified chartered accountant. He looked for a job all, in li all his life. He couldn't find a job. He was so poor, like, until one day in a prayer meeting, God revealed to him that the cause of his problem is in their family house in Ondo State. Ah, cause of my problem, family house in Ondo State. How come? He said then, while they were praying, they were praying, God showed him that there's a, a, a port in their compound that he should travel back home. The boy said, yes, I remember. There's one small hut in our backyard. There's a pot there. There's one small pot there. Ah, yes, my father always put something there. He said the fire in that pot must not go down. It must always produce smoke. Then they told him, go to the place. Go and bring the pot. So he traveled. He knew that he needed wisdom to do it. As he got to their, out, to their hometown, you know, he got to their hometown with a vehicle that was waiting for him in the compound. He brought some provisions, gave to his dad. He opened a sardine. He opened milk. Made tea for the daddy. Daddy was drinking tea and was eating sardine. And he was not talking with daddy. And daddy said, ah, my son, thank God you are even back. You said you've been in Lagos all these years. You've been looking for a job. He said, yes. Ah, you can't find a job. He said, in our family, we have a covenant that everyone in our house will live and die as kokoyam farmers. That that's he said, while they were talking, the father said, ah, you know that pot behind? My father gave it to me. 
his father gave it to him. It had been in a, in a family like that. And I'm planning to hand it over to you. He said where he was thinking, Lord, what do I do? Lord, what do I do? He said, the Spirit of God said, go now as your daddy is enjoying the meat. Yeah, I mean the, the tea and bread and sardine. Carry that pot and run to Lagos. He got to the backyard. As he carried the pot, his father felt what happened. And the father started calling him by his name. When he asked someone, his father started calling him by name. He didn't respond. As the father got to the backyard and saw that ah, his son has gone out, he rushed to follow him. The boy entered the vehicle that was already waiting, drove to Lagos, got to his church. While they prayed upon the, the pot, according to Reverend Moses and Rosiola, he said, the second day, a company that this brother has applied two years before called him on, you know, and told him that they are sorry. We called you because we discovered that two years ago we issued your employment letter. We are very sorry. Are you still available? He said, yes. To compensate you for, the, for our mistake, we will pay you the two years salary. And sir, your official car is waiting. I'm telling you a true life story I had. He broke that yoke. But first, you know that that guy cannot break the yoke of darkness while in darkness. So, for you to be delivered from this generational flow of poverty, family kind of poverty, you have to come to Christ. He knows your name already. But you have to come to him to access the provisions in his hands. Now, follow me. I'm not yet preaching. Now, the second source of poverty, hear me, most times is negligence. The second source of family poverty, most times is what? Negligence. Now, when the people who were the frontliners, did not do what they were supposed to do well. So instead of giving children inheritance of wealth, they give them inheritance of problems. Negligence. So instead of going to to we saw that type in the life of that man in 2 Kings chapter 4, that prophet. The Bible says after the death of the man, the debtors came, his creditors came. Yes, we came to take your two sons. He told the wife, we came to take your two sons because your father, your husband was owing us and he didn't pay. And how do you break those yokes of negligence as a child of God? You have to awake. I will tell you certain things as I go on. The third source of poverty could be ignorance. A lot of our parents were not sensitive or smart enough. They were not intelligent enough. There's a part of intelligence when it comes to prosperity. Hello? Now, and since they were not intelligent enough, they affected us by their own ignorance. That's why several people today are suffering. But how do we end it? I wrote down five things. I want every family member to grab this morning. Let's start with number one. Or before we start, take this confession after me. Say after me, Heavenly Father. I didn't hear you. Say again, Heavenly Father. As a member of the Afolabis family. Mention your family. Let's take it again. Say Heavenly Father. As a member of the Afolabis family, I confess that Jesus is Lord over my life and my family. I confess that Jesus reigns in my life and in my family. I receive grace. I receive grace to break off the yoke of poverty from my life. I receive divine wisdom to walk the work that will make me prosper in the name of Jesus. I shall be the good example of prosperity for the coming of my children. Thank you, Father, for it is done in Jesus' name. Let me start with parents. Where I say to parents is to parents. The next one will be to children. Now to parents. If you are going to break the flow, the yoke of poverty in your life, so that it will not affect the children, don't put your burdens on your children untimely. I come again. Don't put your burdens on your children on time. Don't 
omo gan ti o ti idaduro fun rara e eyin gan oni jo dide koni le sare nigba to ye ko si ma sare tori e ti awon eru te bere si ni gbe le lori now that's the first thing every child see being born again does not mean you should not follow these kind of principles look at what happened in the book of john chapter 2 jesus our lord john chapter 2 verse 4 and his mother and his brothers and his disciples went for a wedding ceremony now at that wedding ceremony show me verse 4 the bible says the wine was exhausted and to she wedding could need wine more then the mother of Jesus came. Well, what did she say? Show me that scripture first. I need it now. Then the mother of Jesus Christ came to Jesus. He told those people, my son knows how to perform miracles. Now I read. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, they have no wine. Verse 4. Jesus said unto her, woman, what have I to do with thee? Look at this. Let's finish it. My hour is not yet come. Which means... I have not yet gotten to the point where I need to be performing miracles to others. Even Jesus had the time. The son of God that should be performing miracles said to his biological mother, I'm sorry mommy, this is not yet time for this. It's not yet my hour. Now, And I want every parent to understand that there is a time in your life you should leave your children alone, allow them to build their lives. Say I hear. I take my notes. Know when your children are not matured enough to carry you. If you put bodies on them too early, you will choke them and they might struggle through life. I remember there was a day we were discussing in the family and my daughter was asking me, Daddy, I have a request. It was a family prayer. And she said, Daddy, I don't know. Can I walk? I got angry. I flew up. I started rebuking her. Then my wife said, wait now. Let's even ask her what she wants to do with the money to walk. Then we'll know whether we'll know how to give her the money. He said, no, sir. I want to walk because I feel I should support you. Ah. Uh -uh. I asked, who asked you of support? Talubiri support Lowe. Who ask you of support? Whatsoever I cannot give you at a particular time, listen, you don't need it at that time. But for you to say, Daddy, let me see how I can support you so that you can support me. No, 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 no. There is a time that you are experienced, you have to buckle up. Am I being share But I'm telling you the truth. There are times if your children even dip to say, Mommy, 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 me, me, need the way. Let them build their life. Because see, there's this mango tree along uh, um, Teslim, Folaris House Road. Before, when you get, before you get to that uh, 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 canal, there's this mango tree. You will discover that mangoes never get ripe on that tree. So one day I decided to even find, investigate during mango season. Sherry be mango yeba shefema ubai nonka. Mango konluri eri Mothers, fathers, there is a time you need to be work and you children too. Ma geru ti on sheti eo. Timba sofu yinkwe, la ran kon to da, to, to slow yin a jomi juni a ye. Eru el eru mongbe o, eru baba mini mongbe o, those days. You must learn to let your parents understand no for some time. Not that you are wicked. Not that you are heartless. But they should allow you to grow first. That's why I want to talk to the parents first. What did Jesus told, uh, tell his mom? He faced his mom and said, Mommy, my time is not yet. How will a child be in school? 100 level, 200 level. And he's sending money home. And you didn't ask from where? I say, praise God, my son just paid our house rent. Praise God, my son just sent money home. Praise God, my son said I should not bother about uh, that thing. He will pay that money. Ah, you are killing that child before that child will mature. If you are going to break the yoke of poverty that you didn't break in your own time, hear me, that you didn't break when you were young, your children can help you, but let them grow first. What did Jacob tell Esau? 
He said, Esau, yes, I know I have blessed your brother with all the blessings, the dews of the heaven. He said, but when, when you become restless, when you grow and become restless and feel that this thing has become a burden, you will break that yoke off your neck. So hear me, every parent, don't put burdens on your children untimely. This 20 something years of being a pastor, in counseling, I have handled some cases where you will see some children are crying. They stole, not jolly. And when you try to find out why they stole, it's their mommy. And most times, you know me, I don't lie. I always tell them, this thing that you are carrying is not your own. Because if you try to try it, it will be insane. It will be insane. Because if you are try it, it will be insane. It will be insane. Just like a case I handled of recent. I was asking the mom. When she was saying, please, please pray for my daughter. Please pray for me. I asked, please, what is your daughter's job? How old is she? When she told me the age of, the girl should be around 20, maybe 24, 25. 24, 25 years old girl. He has rented three bedroom flat for the mommy. 25 years old girl has furnished the whole house for the mommy. 25 years old girl is the one feeding the mommy and the younger sister. I now ask her, Joma, is she with your mommy in she? He said, Hey, see that me low. Is she with your mommy in she? And Sherry, I'm a to to um oh I had working, you know, hard working you but I I said I said she will lunch oh come man wa ni club money be kini show no ni club no the girl was a prostitute who led her into it boarding eh mama ni mo she fe ba soro awon eku kan wa e ma sun loju omo yin mo Leave them. Face your own life. Can I tell you my own true life story? Oh God. I work with a man. Anytime I come home those days, you know, because my dad and mom have separated. My mom is crying. I will go back to the man's shop. I was his manager. I, thank God you were there. I will go and borrow small money to pay back at the end of the month. I will quickly come. Uh, okay, mommy, don't worry. You push with it. By the time I it got to a point, I borrowed beyond my salary. And at the end of the same month, when I collect the salary, I still want to feed the house. I didn't know when I borrowed all, 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 over a half a million. I'm telling you, half a million. It was serious. I couldn't pay back. And I was brother Prince will be born again. The man employed me because I was born again. Do you know what? I had to go to his office. And he said, Prince, what happened? I said, I came to tell you I've stolen from you. He said, and I didn't know. We did all the auditing. I said, see, your accounting audit, auditor, he saw it. He said, he will cover me till I finish paying. But sir, I can't pay it back. He looked at me. I said, there's no how I can pay. Maybe in the future, when I leave your company, and God bless me, I'll come back to pay. But I can't pay it back. Lo and behold, when my mother had it, she asked me, what did you do with the money? Ah. <laughs> don't, don't swear any. <laughs> Unless, leave those children. There's a time to leave them. Even if you have to be drinking gary to leave them to balance, leave them. If they don't balance, the size of the offering they give you will not change. See one, but balance, can you want balance? Showing can create a John do, Lani and Raye, who knows him, my friend, you have you. But to bad, you can balance, can wa okay. See what here, if you're what on boot doing, see Basho, you wash him a struggle. In fact, do you know, look up, church, look up, church. It was my lesson from my father's mo and mother's marriage that me, me am correcting in my own marriage. Even when I'm broke, I and my wife, we don't let our children know. When they tell us the things they need at school and they tell us, don't worry, don't worry. When do they need it? Uh, okay, maybe next week. Don't, no problem. 
Give us the account number. We'll send it. But me and my wife, we know that, ha, ha, Pastor M. Sibala, I want to know name how we pray. your pray. But we don't do that before them. So that they will not begin to feel sorry for us unnecessarily. Do you think children don't have temptations? They have it. But if you don't allow them to balance, so many of you, they are calling you, and hey, hey, I might be no, I might be no. But I have to tell you, you know, you know I can tell, I must tell you the truth. But you know, I can tell you the truth. Until they like him, call Tony Kiki, if you could let Lonle, Umamaji, Umamaja, and your lock on it. So, to bow up me, a two go he could if you let. So, all parents should understand when their children, as it's not yet balanced, allow them to grow. Number two, to the children, build your own life so well to the point that. You will have what it takes to support your parents later in life. I'm talking to the children now. To the children. Build your life, your own life, so well. To the point that you will, you will have what it takes to support your parents later. Now, use the opportunity you have now. What opportunity do you have now? You have opportunity to go to school, students. Those of you that are learning work, you have opportunity to learn the work you are learning. Those of you that are building a business, you have opportunity to build your business. Build it now. Fake, face your own life now. You know why you should face it? I always tell my children, I am not sending you to school because I want you to take care of me in my old age. They say, then, Daddy, why are you sending us? I say, I'm sending you to school so that you, you will not become a burden to me in old age. If you can live your life, I can live my own life. So, it will be wrong of you not to focus on yourself now. Focus on yourself now. Stop waking and sleeping and living on miracles. Miracles exist, but God doesn't want us to be living our life on miracles. God wants us to live our life on principles. Spend your time now to build your life. Onoshin Ryan Love School, build your life. Onoshin Kosher, build your life. There are times in your life you will not be able to give to your parents. Don't feel bad about it. That, that is a season of your life. That the only thing you can give them is to pray for them. I know what you should be doing at that time. Be building your life. Now, if you build your life, hear me. Money answers to is it three things. Let's say three things. Money answers to service. Well rendered. Money answers to product. Well packaged. And money answers when you yourself have become a person of value. So, how do you take care of your parents in the future? If you have not developed these things, this stage of your life now, or your man build a right. I want poverty to end. You know, I took my time. Look up, church. I went into the training camp of Usain Bolt on, on, on internet. I went to his training camp. Now, I saw his training coach. He has one of the best coaches in the world. And pays his coach very high sum. I also went into the camp, training camp of C. Ronaldo. You know, C. Ronaldo still happens to be one of the fastest, sharpest strikers that we have in the world. His own kind of strike, he can turn easily at any time. I went into his training camp. Do you know that the coach they pay them, sir, must lock them inside the co-room for one hour? In the case of Usain Bolt, they put ice blocks, ice blocks inside bath. Fill it with water. He must sit down inside the ice block every day for one hour. So while he was going in, I was saying, ah, but boy, man, cook it. This guy will die. He said the reason is because we use it to develop our muscles in order to increase our speed. What was he doing? He was building himself. Some of you are not focusing on yourself when you are supposed to be focusing on, your, focusing on yourself. At the top over there, they don't dash people money. I come again. At the top over there, they don't what? They don't dash people money. Money answers to the value that you have to offer. 
So to ba je le we no ren joko ka iwe in such a way to je ke te eyan to ba study course e to ba fi fi da e fi gagbaga lori ise ko ni series in lati ma lati ma je ki wolu ma ja mo lo that's how to have what it takes to take care of your parents or else poverty can continue may it not continue in our life amen. i can't hear your amen. amen see if you make money outside hear me value outside product outside service all those things, for instance, and to money, I want to make money by luck. You can make it, you can keep it by luck. Money doesn't stay with other means that is not service, product, or value. Look up. And it's you, more one plus one. How do I do this to do this to get to this point? Toko hito, boya olota na injabet. Abi, go fi one thousand, two thousand, five thousand ta, molo je five million. Esa, I can tell you the truth. I can assure you that to buy your five million, to my color. Two of my change, I want to Three of my change, be in jail. Four of my best, mommy, eh, eh, mommy, eh, to give me. Long, eh, to give me. What did they? Eh, she can't see. My son, one million, see. Before you know it, five million, two fifty, boy, eh. Oh, mama, baby, can you come me to what Are you getting what I'm saying? Because the source that he made money from cannot sustain it. Why do you think that Yahoo, Yahoo guys are up today, down tomorrow? Why do you think they're like that? Because they didn't work for the money. They dribbled to get the money. They won't know what it takes to sustain it. But come and ask me, Pastor Prince. A pastor came, he said, Pastor, God has just called me. Uh, yes, I want to start church. Uh, pastor, I want to rent a, you mentioned the name of the hotel. I will rent that hotel. Pastor, please, I don't know whether you can give us some chairs, uh, whether you can borrow us a keyboard. I see all these things you mentioned. It's not what we make the people to stay. The, all these things you mentioned, we don't make them stay. He said, Pastor, what do you mean? I said, there are levels of crisis in ministry. If you don't know how to manage those levels of crisis, no matter, let one million people gather with you, they will scatter. That 26 years of handling people is different. So, all the children, what's your own lesson? I'm only hearing Sister uh, Blessing's life, my, my voice. Let me hear your voice. All the young people, what did I say? Build your own life so well to the point that you will have what it takes to support your parents later. Now, number three, it's still for you, the young ones. Do not go into marriage until you have properly established your source of income. If you don't want to be poor, if you don't want poverty to continue, do not go into marriage until you have established your source of income. Now, everybody look up. Who can tell me in the Bible the age where it is written for a person to get married? We are Uti Kati Miuri. Temi Emiti Kati Miuri. Ten in that Siri. Edu Eno was okay. Taluli saw for me. The age by Loloni Ubodo Mari. Age by Toba Bimo Uti Mise. Anybody like that? I will give you the mic. Answer now. You have seen it. I thought you were telling your sister that Mama Chiri come. Ipula Chiwari away you battle so quick to money battle loco. Sir, we are one. But you know what the Bible says? God gave Adam the garden before He gave Adam a wife. Marriage is expensive. You can't run marriage without money. Let me tell you the truth. All my years of being a pastor, 98% of what is causing misunderstanding in marriage is not, is not any other thing but money. M O N E Y. Dickness, mean lay your woo woony. Ninety-eight percent. We give one percent to sex. 
and the one other percent to other minor minor things. But the main thing to Allah in many marriages, money is not enough. It means that marry you can't run marriage on credit. Tony and expect to have peace. I'm not saying become a millionaire before you get married. No. What I'm saying is settle your income matter. What is the guaranteed source of money coming into me? Guaranteed source. Not that Maori, Tabak Badra, Tagadra, Minikwa, Shele. Pastors, look up. Ah, sorry. Oh, Utuni Pastors. If I tell you the number of pastors' wives that died last year and this year, our pastors say Momo. Our Momo shame package, I want Yahoo alone. GI. Two basso. Pastor Lee, I don't know. If you don't know. But she did see about your honey to buy your bini or Arata Lee Rukut Maho. You know why poverty is extending the life of so many people? You get distracted easily. There are some times in your life you don't need relationship. Oh, T need to a mara powder phone. Oh, T need to a mara send recharge card phone. Oh, T need to mara. Oh, T need there. There are some times in your life. That looks of my poly. Rale, rale. Go call the koto mari. Even as a lady. Okay, I'm going to have Let's end poverty. He said, I'm going to compensate my mommy. I'll put my wedding day. The moment I finish serving. Oh, that's it, Richard. God gave Adam the garden before God gave Adam a wife. Marriage cannot be successful without money. This is why you see that God gave, like just like I said, marriage cannot be successful. Settle. So, n- listen, I wrote here, settle income issues before you enter marriage. It will help you to be balanced financially. Then number four. This one has to be with both daddies, mommies, and children. Poverty cannot be easily eradicated when both the husband and wife are not contributing financially to the comfort and progress of their home. Should I come again? Poverty cannot be easily eradicated when both the husband and the wife are not contributing financially to the comfort and progress of their home. Now, which means couples must learn to bring their ideas and resources for the progress of their families to the table. Hear me. Any marriage where poverty will end, as the husband is working, the wife must be working. As the husband is making money, the wife must be making money. It must be both ends. You know, something funny happened. We we're just, you know, I play a lot when I'm at home. We we're just discussing, and 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 you know, he was saying, ah, any, what if you marry? And with all this training daddy is giving you, sending you to school, you just marry, and your husband said he wants to open shop for you. So I said, I will kill that man in the place of prayer ever before he start to marry you. I said he will open shop for you, and you will be all the training of sending you to university. You now be going to shop. I will kill him. He said, Daddy, as I will kill him in the place, place of prayer. I won't use knife. Oluwa, ba me pay sword on you. Because I don't want children that will be calling me at their old age. Hello, Daddy, I don't know whether I can, I can get some change from you. Both of you must work. Both of you must bring to the table. That's why I want to speak to all the women that are, women that are here. See, eradicate that mentality that it's only my husband that will pay school fees. It's only my husband that will pay house rent. It's only my husband that will pay this. It's only my husband that... Do you want to kill him? If, if actually you love that man, you are a helper in his life. 
let's be sincere. Eventually, if to my ever wada ba, to kada wale kilo mama so money oh, wakela ye, mami. Only mami lo kwaju. But both of you must understand. Te ba fe kini a joyi ko joya. I'm telling you what the Lord told me. That's why I'm sharing with you now. Go read your Bible. The Proverbs 31 woman. Okay, let's even do a research. Show me Proverbs 31. So that I can convince you the women. And open your eyes to it. So that you will see that you have role to play. Gone are those days that the woman will just fold her hands. And let the man to become the Jehovah of everything. The man can die untimely. Proverbs 31. Let's read now. We give, while they are bringing it, we gave somebody a lift. My wife will remember now. From our area. This woman is a grandma. He said, Daddy, as he was talking to us, as we were going, coming to Liberty Road, she was talking to us about her marriage. He said, my husband is a squanderer. In his days of working in the bank, he squanders money like, he said, Daddy, I was a teacher, a corporative. I was a corporative. I was a corporative. I was a corporative. I was a only by that, told that first one, one family egg by low way. If I told that second one, that second one, family egg by, only boy, once he died, Durum Bank, a meeting one color, only me at our mommy work with Joko, Cherry Insane, family to buy first one. Could a soul away, a she way? Give me the money lay, give me at our mommy. Only by any, eh, eh, Timba Shaky Lofeshi, only move a call, my call, that your mag baby. Only one, okay. Okay, oya ma ko emi lagbaja mu ta ile fun iyawo mi ah o ni iyawo yin ko le ma so mrs lagbaja tobi lagbaja tamedu ati lagbaja fun en ko be lo ni le lati o ni lo mama yen wa soro kan emi ati mama iyawo mi se ma for en se di sin pe ore 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 oko mi kan time igba ta wa ra le one fair ballet, 400,000. Only that woman is not a vicious woman. How will you take 400,000 naira to go and rent house? Why can't you go and rent one room and look for a land very far? That word, my wife screamed in front. I screamed while I was dancing. Munima, my two best. Only that woman is not a vicious woman. Some women are not vicious women. Kerasho. Eh, Ronu Ojo Waju. Kema je chicken and chips. Ah, uma da bien kwa won kun ni no won to buy. Listen, boys, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the things we do in our marriage. We want to end although aren't you tired of poverty? You are not talking. Are you not tired of poverty? Well, yeah, let's read Proverbs 31. Look at this woman. The word of the king, Lamel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What, my son? And what, the son of my womb? And what, the son of my vows? Give not thy strength unto women. No, thy ways, where, where, where is the person? Or thy ways to that which destroys king. There are, women, there are some women, they, they are destroyers of kings. It is not for kings, O Lamel. It is not for kings to drink wine. Not for princes to take strong wine. Look, wait for me here. It is not for kings. moti. Kings don't take, they don't take, look at it now. It's not for kings to drink wine, not for princes to take strong drink. Any man that is taking alcohol is not a king. Look at the scripture. Because it's not in the Bible not to take alcohol. Look at it. (laughs) 
Church won't bother singing. This is a man that almost died in the hospital. Lie in me, if you come on. Church won't bother singing. And to finish, she also will try. Lenny, I don't remember what I mama would have So, kings, look at it. I gave my life to Jesus. I can tell you, since I gave my life to Jesus, I have never tasted alcohol. Even when they say, ah, sir, you have us to take alcohol. If God will not heal me by other means, let him leave me. I don't take alcohol. I don't drink it. I gave my life to Christ. I, I stopped it because I discovered that I am a prince. Let's go. Let's look how we believe in the country. That's a sheep, a she, vicious woman for one. Vicious man, no, wow. Let they drink and look at it. He said, they'll tell them, that's the exception. They tell you, let them drink and forget the law, the perverting of just, justice and, and, sorry, of many of the afflicted. Move on. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish. I'm not saying she go be a young, if perish. I let you watch what you think, he said. And wind unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty. Not to conquer his poverty, but to forget it. Does it mean that it is gone? No. Where is it? They kept it for him. <laughs> and remember, his mysteries no more. Oh yeah, go to Proverbs 31. Open thy mouth for the dumped in the case of all such as are appointed to destruction. Those are the people with wine too. Move fast, 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 fast. I don't have all the time. Move on to the next verse. Let's start from the Proverbs. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is, as, is far above rub rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. He knows that if he puts money in his hand, the money is there. He she what my co photo my daru to bati no matter any oya wash a can't or what daru a dasija could could there any choice to the key be on jay or well lower it be for combale no who seem to yara power can be obey if a woman want to kill a man without using the knife hmm. women you are you are very strong I'm telling you they are the helpers of destiny of the man. I have Andrew case. The man will be crying. Kilo, kilo, paying like a brother. He can't be. I need kilo, paying Ali Kani. Oh, my God, I feel it. Daddy, I'm going to go to my Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Come, let's leave that one. It's not for today. Let me focus on. We are dealing with poverty. The heart of her husband does simply trust her so that he shall have no need of, of spoil. Verse 12. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Move on. Move on. She seeketh wool and flax and walketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant's sheep. She bringeth her food from her father. Look at this. is a woman, not a man. All the women that are here, wake up. You are the helper of the destiny of your husband. So that poverty will end. A woman went to the office to, to report her husband. I'm telling you a true life story. My husband is not responsible. My husband is not responsible. The husband, now, the organ now asks, does he pay the children's school fees? He said yes. Does he pay house rent? He said yes. What else does he do? He pays the NEPA bill. He fills the gas. Then how is he not responsible? He said, it's not taking care of me. The husband now said, the organ now said, how much is the children's school fees? They wrote it down. How much does he, how many times do you feel gas in a month? She mentioned, they wrote the amount. How much do you pay for NEPA bill? He wrote the amount. How much do you, does he put down for food? They wrote the amount. How much does your, have you asked your husband how much he earns? When they mention how much he earns, do you know that by the time he meets those needs, it is only 2,000 that is left. The wife now said, I don't know that that's what is always left. The man burst into tears. He said, I wanted to give her my salary to manage us for one month. Woman, if you have a man that doesn't smoke, that doesn't take alcohol, 
that does not womanize and is born again. Every yoke of poverty over your family are declared broken now. In the name of Jesus. But you must learn to team up together. Let's summarize this number four. So, couples must learn to bring their ideas and resources for the progress of their family. Just like I said, we saw the Proverbs 31 versus woman in the Bible. How she uh, 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 adequately contributed for the progress of her home. Number four. Number five. For, for, the, for the yoke of poverty to be broken in your family, you have to apply the principle of child spacing. Child spacing. Hello? Okay, I don't see Bino Abi. Child spacing. Some of you don't know that the reason for so many poverty is not the devil. They, they give back to children without planning. So, the, the, all, they are too much. How much are you earning? And some women have that mentality. <laughs> We sing Abraham's blessings are mine. The covenant son of Abraham is Isaac. It was after the, he had a guy when they were trusting God. They, they couldn't wait. But it was after the death of Abraham, uh, 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 Sarah that he married Keturah that he now had other children. But Father Abraham, that has Abraham's bosom, quarters in heaven. You now go to his son, Isaac. Isaac was so, so blessed that the Bible says the Philistines envied him. How many children? Two. Are you flowing with me? But look at what Jacob said when he was dying. You know, when he got to Pharaoh, they asked him, how old are you? He said, my days on earth is like the days of my suffering. Why? He gave her to 12. Days, my, my days is like the days of my suffering. But look at Joseph. The man that fed the whole seven, his, the 70 members of his family without shaking. He had how many? Two. Ephraim and Manasseh. Who do you owe children? Hello, Jello Mono. It's true. Talo Jello Mono. That was what one of our men got angry that made him leave church. I said, Why not? Mellow down. He got angry. Are you trying to control me? I met him. Your target must be I want to break the yoke of poverty. Let's take one more before we close. One more. I'll stop here. Now, this one too is for general. To break the yoke of poverty, stop living for the present alone. Be futuristic, futuristic in your plans and actions. Stop living for the present alone. You know, I used to think that uh, people that used to buy gold were so uh, extravagant until I discovered that people save their money in gold. When you put money in gold, your money doesn't devalue. I didn't know before. But you know that some people are foolishly doing it. It's not that they are buying gold to resell later. They are only living for the present to appear big. Now, let me tell you, to show you 
that a test you must do for yourself. Now, if there is a sudden opportunity now that will cost like a million, do you have 10 things you can sell or convert to cash to solve it in five days? That is what it means. Because if all you have, you are, you are living your life putting your money on liabilities. Liabilities are those things you put money on that your money will not increase in value, but instead it will reduce. Sir, I was watching a documentary about G-Wagon. One G-Wagon is 200 million naira. The, the uh, trafficating light, one, trafficator light, one is 500 and it has two. The bomber guide is 600,000 naira. The one in front of G-Wagon is 600. The bomber of G-Wagon is 2 million naira. Side mirror. This right side mirror. This side, side mirror is 1.2 million. The alloy rim of G-Wagon, the 4, is 5 million naira. Stop living. If you want to eradicate poverty, stop living for the moment. Reverend Olumide Emmanuel said on telephone, on television, and watch him. He said, What Tinumbu's government should teach us is that who told us at the first place that we must eat three square meals a day? Is three a square? No, it's a triangle. That thing made sense to me. Okay, it made sense to me. It made sense to me. Because some of you, if you have small change, the next thing, I kill a wife for you, you say, Stop living for the moment. Be futuristic in your living. That's why I always tell you, whenever you make profit, after you have removed your tithe, remove a part that you must put into yours. As you pay tithe to God, pay to your savings too. Because nobody, nobody ever thought that Nigeria will get to this point. Nobody ever thought that some people will go to work on Monday, they won't go on Tuesday. And the government will not do anything about it. Nobody ever thought Nigeria would get to this point. That a Congo of rice and a, and a, and a liter of, gari, of, of fuel is a, a Congo of gari and a liter of fuel the same price. Nobody ever thought. Me, I want to prosper. But if you must prosper, follow these five principles. That have, six that I've just shared today. Stop living for the present. Be futuristic. You know, I told my wife, look up, learn. I will not look at her face. I said, Pastor MC, I used to call her Pastor MC. I pray that God will give me the grace to be able to face her and call her something sweeter than that. I don't used to have the courage to look at her face and call her. I said, Pastor MC, say, Maybe I would have committed suicide. She said, why? I said, if you had not pushed me to build this house. I said, all those years, I used to say, when I used to say, I said, don't worry, we'll buy a house. I said, house is becoming difficult to buy now. I'll buy a house. We'll break it down. We'll build what we want. I'm not saying you should not speak faith. But do something in case. You will hear your message tomorrow. 50th birthday. I'm coming to preach to you. So, when I now, I remember, I told her, I said, I remember that day that we got to a level and you said on me, Rent tongue balo, why you to put you? She had like baby ni munibo. Passage. 
mo ni le kankan o le duro sibi jare le kankan o le duro sibi ah le kankan o le duro sibi you say you know and you know you women you have power of influence that's why if you have not captured your husband woman you have not studied your husband if your husband is still difficult for you you have not studied him sir i'm preaching it because emi gan ke mo le but thank god for your life i will buy you lunch after the service <laughs> So she started mounting prayer. So uh, the only person that could save me was Dikin Awudu. So I called him, hello, so that he will come and prove her wrong. <laughs> hello, Dikin. I thought he would, he would say no. He said, okay, so I'm coming. And the next 30 minutes, he drove down. And he was with Christopher of blessed memory that day. He said, Christopher, go and bring my tape. And they started measuring it. Measuring it. He said, sir, conveniently, we can build for you a good self-contained of, let's say, two rooms and a parlor. My wife looked at me. I understood it. Then engineer said, but sir, we're thinking of building a, a duplex for you at the back. I said, leave that duplex. Do you know that that's where I'm still li we are living now? How, do you know how much rent is now? I told them to go and check a two-bedroom flat there. Ah, a two bedroom flat there. I said they should quickly go and check. Beside Mommy Ali Miss Shop. They said 400000 rent. But what is the package? I told her last week, I said, if I sat now, we didn't have that place. I said, I don't know where I would have been. And I said, why are you talking about suicide? I said, let me just talk as a man before I talk about a man of God. I know I won't commit suicide, but as a man. Those days, sir, the money that was coming into this ministry is not what is coming in now. If we had not built that level school, built that level church, that same money, we were employing, I am telling you plain truth, ma. We were giving money, members money to start business. Tobacco Pari, car offering by, they can fair me, F1 30,000, F1 20,000, F1 50, around the machine. After buying the machine for that level church to grow, they say it is because they don't have machine. They went and went for almost six months. When they came back, they say it's because they don't have car. I said, okay, what do we now do? I can't afford to buy a car now. They said, sir, can we sell the machine and use the money to repair the car? And I told him, sell the machine. Return the money to church. Oh, the machine enter. But when the day I said, sell the machine, use the money to fix your car. They sold the machine the second day. I wouldn't have forgiven myself. I'm telling you so that you can learn. You think you don't have faith? I don't have faith. You think I still don't believe I can see by building? I believe. But a man who you see no. Come on, what killing me? Not to now talk about now that my children are in university. If provision come to my house now, I can't even buy it. Hand. I will think of their university school fees till they finish. Be futuristic. A little sleep, a little folding of hands. What will happen? He said, poverty will knock. Begin to thank God for what you've had this afternoon. Begin to give God thanks. Begin to thank the Lord. Your time will not be wasted. Begin to pray. 
That's why you have to invest your time. Say, Lord, help me. Baya gada bara basene. Basengele baskenere. Shagada bara bas. Rengada bara basse. Basa taya gada baskanda yarabos. Legede bosa taya gada bas. Shagada basanda yarabaske. Balengo yarabas. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Are you blessed? Have you learned something? Go and put to work what you have learned. Today is our Thanksgiving day. Everybody get your Thanksgiving offering. I know 